you know, as a real victim of this whole rape and child pedophile and all that stuff, this is really, really fucked up situation. Like, I just saw uh, Megan Kelly, NBC News, and um, I just don't know what to trust anymore. I feel like I'm betrayed. Like, what's going on? I need an explanation. I personally think that um, if this whole story is real, she needs to be rejected from Me Too movement. Okay, I see a lot of comments on comment section saying that, you know, oh, look at feminist, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I am a feminist, but I am not a radical feminist. And feminism is about equal gender equality. Okay, but I don't hate men. I love men, and any type of rape is a crime, whether it's from girls or boys or women or men, crime is a crime, okay? And some people say that, oh, men cannot be rape victim, totally BS. I mean, if she knew about this boy since since the guy was a seven year old kid this is not healthy what she has done is the same things what Woody Allen did it to his daughter I mean his wife this is unbelievable Six year old kid. The document characterized by the Times as a legal agreement between lawyers described Bennett's version of the encounter. They have not been seen or verified independently by NBC News. On May not This is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is so disgusting. Like what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And even though I'm a feminist, I'm so sick and tired of this fake feminist. American feminist, Western feminist, hello, like what's going on? This is no excuse. This is criminal behavior. Like, did you just see the picture? Did you just see this picture? This boy right here, this man right here, he's 22 right now. Okay, so you might, you might say that, oh, but he's a 22 years old. That's not a little kid. But if you actually know that person since he was six year old kid, like, did you see this picture? Did you see this picture? Okay. So like, what is the differences between Woody Allen trying to molest a little girl and an old woman, older woman tried to molest a little boy? It's the same things. This is a criminal behavior. And by the way, Me Too movement is not just for girls. It's for boys as well. It's also for heterosexual male and gay boys, gay male. And, and this is not just about female victims. So I feel like I'm totally betrayed by by this whole fanatic. Like what? I have a headache now. Like what is going on? What is going on? Like this is such a disrespectful things you could ever done to. I mean, I'm not saying that she was never sexually molested by Harvey Weinstein. She probably did, but it doesn't mean that she's okay to be a sexual molester as well. This is like so wrong on so many different levels. Like, now, the document characterized by the Times as a legal agreement between lawyers describes Bennett's version of the encounter. They have not been seen or verified independently by NBC News. On May 9th, 23rd. Okay, 
this is so disgusting. Like, I'm not saying that um, being cougar is wrong. If, let's say, I don't know. Let's say if you're 30 years old, have sex with 25 year old. Kind of understandable. But, like, if you actually know that person since the guy was, like, six-year-old kid, that's gross and so disgusting. Like, how is this okay? Double standard. And if you ever see, um... If you ever see uh, some woman saying that this is okay, now, she's a hypocrite. And I'm telling you as a real feminist that that's not a feminist. That's a fake feminist because uh, there's a bunch of fake feminists in America. And I feel like American society or Western society, uh, they are twisted about feminism. And that's why I do not agree with many things what uh, feminist people say in America. You know, like, th let me just say this. Um, for example, right after... Harvey Weinstein situation. What happened to those typical liberal feminist female? There's a bunch of uh, female, so-called female feminists in politics in uh, Democrat Party, right? And then I saw a picture of those, you know, I'm not gonna say who exactly, but I saw a lot of Democrat Party politicians are taking pictures of Harvey Weinstein. So, you know, I used to be a liberal and democrat, but like, when you see a picture like that, those people who have power and everything, taking picture with Harvey Weinstein, and next day you turn down. Like, next day you just flip your side, and like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, I really didn't know about anything. Like, seriously, you didn't know anything. Like, you used to be the leader of the nation, and you didn't know anything about it. Like, seriously? And all these uh, politicians talking about, you know, like, I used to like Hillary, right? But then I saw a picture of, because I also, I don't know. I don't know what to trust anymore. I just do not trust anybody anymore. Anyone anymore. Like, like as a real victim of the uh, sexual abuse this is bullshit this is com like i'm so angry right now like what the fuck Okay, um, <sighs> this is disgusting, this is just so disgusting and gross, period, like, gross, period, uh, how is this okay, can anybody explain to me what's going on, like, I can't keep up, like, I'm so angry right, right now, and I'm, I feel like I'm betrayed, I am betrayed, Okay, you know this this boy since you were six year old. Since he was a six year old boy, you know this this little boy. Okay, this is just so disgusting. This is so disgusting. This is gross. Okay, this is gross. Like like, is he okay? Is this child okay? I hope he's okay though. I'm so sorry about this, you know, I, I want to apologize to you, even though I don't know you, this little boy right here, um, even though I don't know this guy, I want to apologize to this, this person as a feminist, that I'm so sorry that there are some hypocritical feminists out there, that, you know, like I said, I'm apologizing as a feminist, that, because, like, what the fuck? Okay, this is disgusting. Like, I don't know. 
I don't know about this whole hate, fake, fake, fake Hollywood things. Like, like, it seems like everybody is just a bullshit though. Like, by the way, I feel so sorry for Anthony. Anthony Bowden, rest in peace. I'm so sorry. I feel so sorry for the guy. Um, this is not healthy at all. Um, I'm trying to find a great picture. Oh, God. You know, I feel like a Me Too movement, they picked the wrong person. They picked the wrong person to speak out the situation. They picked the, the worst person to talk about the situation. You know, as a real victim, to be really honest, I am a survivor of sexual pedophile. I am a victim of the pedophile. There is no way that I can just put a makeup on my face and wear clothes like this and stand up in front of bunch of bunch of paparazzi like this. There's as a as a victim, as a rape victim, there's no way that there's no way that I could stand up like this in front of a bunch of paparazzi and a camera unless you are super attention whore. Like it, it's it's impossible. Why? Because I know real rape victims. This is such a disrespectful statement to You're not gonna come off, you know. You're not gonna come off like this. Like, I do believe her. I do believe that she is a rape victim. I want to believe her that she is sexually assaulted and molested. I want to believe her, but as a person who knows a real rape victim, as a person who knows a lot of um sexual abuse survivor most of us cannot pretend or act like this woman like put a lipstick on and, and uh, wear less clothes on and stand up in front of a bunch of camera folks paparazzi and stuff impossible like I don't know. You know, I want to believe her she is a victim, but if you are a victim and then you molest another child, then that would make you look like shit. And you are shit if this whole accusation is real. You are shit. You are shit. And you are making everyone look bad. You are making actual rape, rape victim bad. Okay, this is disgusting. I just want to vomit. I just want to vomit right now. Like... Look at this this boy's face. He looks like he's kind of like confused or froze. He's not really smiling. I could tell that this boy is not really smiling. That I have like this is just unbelievable to me.
This is just gross, disgusting. Anthony Bourdain. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. What's going on? What's going on? This is disgusting. I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't come up with a word. I'm so shocked. I'm in the middle of hashtag Me Too movement right now, and here, here we go. This type of bullshit. How could I tolerate this? Like this is this is totally bullshit. Like what the? I'm so sorry. I try not to curse, but it's it's like this is just unbelievable to me. This cute little boy, you can't do that. You can't do this, Asia. You can't do this. You own apology. Like you have to come up to the media and explain. And apologize you have to apologize to the victim and you have to apologize to all female all women in the world to the world like look at what you have done look what you have done like if this whole accusation is real what you did is not better than what Uti Allen did it to his own daughter. It's the same things. Uti Allen knew about his daughter since the, the, the kid was nine year old kid. This boy is a six year old. So it's worse than Uti Allen. Oh my god. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, like... Okay, so this was my reaction. Alright, bye.